Hello Nottinghamshire Madness fans. We are in Nottingham and we're on what is called Queen's Walk. And this is a tram line that runs down past the meadows to the Wilford Toll Bridge. And I guess to some degree cuts a community in half. But also I think it made the community more accessible. And it's one of my favourite little rides in Nottingham because it's a lovely tree-lined avenue and the meadows and uh, and all in all it's quite pleasant the other thing is the meadows has these statues <clears throat> now they're all carved I believe from elm because elm trees were felled by the tram company when they built the trams The, uh, they had various artists carve these sculptures out of elm and I believe it's the elm that they, they cut down. According to the little plaque at the bottom, this sprightly young lady is Queen Victoria. There's a few of these so it's a bit of a zigzag ride down Queen's Walk I guess. It's, Queen's Walk named after Victoria. There's a tram coming by. There's another post on the other side. I'm going to try to stay on my bike to do these so it's possible I won't be able to pick the nameplates of them all up. Zigzag over the, the tram lines. There's another one here. Oh, I have to stop and get off. Now then, looks like some sort of hieroglyphics and some music bits and all sorts on this one. I'm sorry if you can't see what I'm looking at. It's all a bit one-handed, as usual. So this one is called Youth, carved by Dan Sly, local youth clubs. They help design the street. My guess is that when the tram company came to cut through the meadows here, there's a B75, they had to uh, do something to appease the people that lived here. <coughs> I don't know, I'm only guessing at that. So we'll gently ride down the tram lines again. Not sure how far it is to the next one. So on the B75. Got the Ortlieb waterproof O bag. Um, that was a bargain, that was. 95 quid from Brompton when they were selling them off. So I had to have a bag that one, it was half price, or probably even less than half price at the time. Right, we cross over again now. Survived the tram line crossing yet again. So these. Statues, I've never stopped to look at all of them. They have always fascinated me. And uh, I'm on a group ride with Brompton Nottingham Facebook group tonight. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to get down here half an hour early and have a look. Green, carved by Carl Wilby. Green, so I guess that's trees. See? grass or ears of corn, fruits, leaves, water tap, essential to life that is. Right, on to the next one, which is just over the road. Got a kickstand on the B75. This is when it's so convenient to have a kickstand on this stop starting. It's a bit shaky video, I'm afraid, probably. I'm on my Android phone. I think I spy a cricketer. So, what we've got here? So, we've got a cup, 
a winner's cup some athletics 1862 as a date forest 1865 constance maple jeans olympic medal swimmer so these are all uh, a tribute to sports people i guess can't see the plaque on the floor growing see the rowing boat there more runners cricketer and i guess the cricketer's name was arthur shrewsbury 1865 1903 drums in put the prop stand up get back on the bike this is why i do uncut videos because i'm down here looking at this and it isn't a cut tail it's on and off the bike and, and that's how it is now i know this one is called friendship and it's one of the favorites because it means friendship all nations all people and that is oh, by another Dan Sly so there we go hands of friendship nations all together if only if only that could be true right just change gear with me yes, here we go a bit further on down the meadows then so whatever people say about the meadows I've always enjoyed my time I've come down here they do have a few community projects that are open to the to the public which are often worth a visit oh, I'm gonna beat the van yeah me whilst to stop this looks like it has some religious connotations and more too religious here we go it's on the bottom here so another down sly it's called faith faith all the religions Absolutely lovely. Alright, let's find the next one then. And we go again. Tally ho. Hello. Hello. Far now to the to the toll bridge, that's the meeting point for the ride. Go a little bit further, there's one on the other side. Crossing point here. This must be something to do with industry because I can see a headstock of a mine. Stop cracking me. Single handed bike riding, stopping and getting off. Brilliant. So, there's the headstocks of a mine. There's a chap pushing a butty. Pit boot. A couple of guys obviously working underground. More guys working underground. More guys, bit of a shield here. They're probably emblems for pits. That were. I'm not sure what this is. Another guy with a butty. Not a chip butty. Where's the plaque? Here we go. Industry. Carved by Carl Wilby. Right, where's the next one? I think we're going to have a bit of a shower this evening, but never mind. Just 
steady plod down here, trying not to get anybody in me in the view. Yeah, I'm on the other side of the road. Over we go. That's got to be film, television, something. As you can see, the uh, rolls of film. So starting at the bottom, it's obviously a bit of a blank, so we have flower, <clears throat> globe, theatre I guess, this is really quite intricately carved, Magna Carta, after the name of a pub and obviously the Magna Carta is a thing that Gave us our social position and rights and made the king, queen and government accountable for their acts. Maybe maybe once a reading again, probably. So that must be something to do with the dye works. The lady there, some sinks, washboards. That's an excellent, excellent piece of carving. There's our mate Robin Hood. He tried to do some good, allegedly. I'm sure he did. That's, uh, it's got a north on it. So that's something to do with a compass. But what, I don't know. Then we've got what looks like a whipping top. Next one up, another row of houses. More houses, there's a bull, a cow there in this picture. I hope you can see all this well. And then, another building, which I don't know what it is. Right, now let's have a look. Just think, the local authority, they come down here. No, managers have no pride. All it is is money. I want to cut this grass. Let's get this cut grass. The old meadow carved by Dan Sly again. So this I guess is representing what the meadows were years ago. I mean, these things won't last forever because the very nature they're made of a material that's naturally decaying but they've had the money done the job cleared off and left no budget to no budget to uh, look after them i guess which is pretty synonymous of the country everything has money to do it everyone gets a pat on the back they'll go to the champagne Reception, see how jolly good they all are, and they all clear off home and then leave it all sat here to decay and nature take over. That is synonymous because a lot of my videos talk about this very thing you know, lottery funding stuff and the way things are built and left and not cared for got bikes on this one proper cool of cool interest stop again kickstand so that's got to be a boat on the river penny farthing and a bicycle and a bus and a tram and on top a train so we've got to be looking at the evolution of transport here, I guess. Bicycles, motor bicycle, bus again, front of the train. I'm sorry if you can't see it's a good against the uh, collect transport. Carved by Carl Wilby again. Rally chopper. Cool. I suppose the rally chopper had to get you in there, didn't it? 
copious, copious amounts of garbage. Right, we're going around the end of the tram stop. There's a couple over there, and then there's one back towards the toll house. Box of flats. Bit of architecture there, crumbling away. Almost brutalist, sort of. We did talk about this on a ride a few weeks ago. You know, nobody likes it because of what it is. But why not? Why don't we keep these things? Why don't we look after these things? It represents a period of history and architecture and, and building. Right, here we go again. Another spot. Oh, wow. So we've got here an article man, a military badge. Pilot, an oak leaf, obviously representing Sherwood Forest, an anchor, obviously to represent the marine, chap here, having a smoke with his gun, another artillery emblem, a couple of aeroplanes flying over, another artillery emblem, and it is called the Armed Forces, carved by Carl, will be again. Right guys, I believe we've got one more to look at. Because we're down by the, the toll bridge now, or what was a toll bridge. On the way to Wilford, it, this turns into Wilford Road, down here. That's where we're going to be heading on the ride soon, Wilford Road. Some of my favourite little buildings. The only problem with me and he likes it actually probably says a lot about me there's a toll bridge we're going to be going over there shortly on the ride that's the entrance to the uh, embankment which is now essentially car free for part of it which is always so good the guy on his cracking electric bike here This is the last of the Elm posts I can see. Right. Oops. This kickstand went into a hole. So we have got Oh, at the top. Probably a castle keep. Kids on a ride, another boat, more boats, I guess that's a bridge, rowing boat, another boat, and this is quite aptly called the river, another one carved by Carl Wilby. So guys, Nottinghamshire Madness fans, that's my little tour of uh, Queen's walk completed. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, catch you on the next one. Thank you very much.